Hey, so we're here in Richmond, last NIV. We're starting to get into the heat of the matches yeah, so for we the are, afternoon. There is a gold bracket with 32 players, the top 32, where we will crown yep. the NIV 17 champion. Uh, there's the purple bracket with 64. Fantastic bracket. And there's a pink bracket, and I don't even know. There's I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to try. But everybody, I mean, there are 133 people. 133 people. Uh, you probably hear some uh, some football in the background because it is Sunday. Um, it is. But uh, the fun thing about these tournaments is whether you've been playing a long time or you're new, uh, you can still always find a, a shot or two that you might not have learned before. Totally. I le this weekend, I always say that whenever I come to these tournaments, Kevin, I want to learn one or two new shots. Jamaica Bay, I found a couple new shots. On Dodge City, I kept driving down, I think it's Fairway uh, 11, or the barn, or you can go to the patch over the left, but maybe it's 12. It, it's not on the front nine, but the problem is that patch, I never get, I always come up short on the patch, then I gotta play a curve. Or if I come up short and play like a, a forward, I can drive through the green. Well, and that's the nice thing. Did you uh, during the qualifier is that you're seeing? Yeah. Uh, everybody's playing the same courses in the qualifier. It's much different than today's match play. Right. But uh, when you're seeing the same people hitting different shots in those qualifying matches, it it you you get a chance of learning some some things you, you must not. And somebody for like me, I play these courses. You know, I play them pretty often. And, and prior to what people believe, I don't just sit at the office and play golden tee. Adam has his has a machine in his office. You should be looking at that. Oh, guy. that I that need guy. one of those. But I mean, <laughs> no. I, but all kidding aside, when Adam Kramer goes to this better world at some point, 60, 70 years from now. I want to come back as him. <laughs> like, who the heck can wake up in the morning and be like? What are you doing today? I'm going to play some Golden Tee. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, Adam and you, and honestly, Kevin, you guys do a fantastic job for Incredible Technologies. I know you got a new building. Things are great. Yeah, things and, are and, things are cooking. And, yeah. There's and, and a Don Pescioni and the whole yeah. the whole crew. Honestly, I mean, I don't know I don't know Don personally. I don't know Adam personally, but I know you personally, and I know you are so passionate about this game and love this game. Absolutely. I, you know, I got to give Don credit and I got to give him a yeah. shout out because Don has been the vice president of the amusement right. division for a while now. And for the six, seven years that, that Don has been at the helm and as he's slowly but surely passing that off to Adam, right. too, because uh, Adam's now project manager, director of uh, whatever you want to call it, of Golden Tee. So those guys together uh, have done a lot of things. Money shot, daily contest, these oh, new game modes over the last six, seven years. Uh, and I have to say the line because I'll get yelled at if I don't. But, you know, we were coming out with five courses and a cigar, and now we're coming out with seven courses. We're coming out with new game modes, new ways to play, new ways to win, yeah. new ways to customize your golfer. We got custom putters, custom outfits. Uh, you know, the entire team, there's – we, we give off the vibe that we are a much bigger team than we are for a, but for a game. But there's, what, two, three of you guys? No, there's more than that. We're about a 50, 60, you know, person team overall. But, you know. Uh, you lie. I thought it was just you and Adam. Well, I mean, we, you know, <laughs> I, I try. I try to make it look like that, but no. But but Adam and Don, and th they like to listen to ideas. That's that's the thing I've noticed the most, you know, coming – Coming to this game, or to this team as somebody who played the game since I was right. growing up, I've played, you know, almost every era of Golden Tee, and uh, they talk about creativity, whether it's the artist, whether it's the programmers or QA or marketing or sales, like anybody has an idea, any any right. idea can be gold. Uh, so that is the thing, the, one of the things I like the most is that, you know, I can go to Adam or Don and sit down and say, hey, what do you think about this? And it spawns, any idea Ideas. spawns, yeah. you know, these, these sessions where, well, you never know the next new thing that's going to come to Golden Tee. Hey, this is a big match coming up. Talk me through this. What's this, Jamaica Bay? Oh, this is Jamaica Bay, and this is a nice setup. Uh -oh. Drivable, hole one. Uh, look at Mark. Oh, that's Ryan. Yeah, that was McCook. McCookie. McCook is a guy that was on the scene for a long time, took, took a break, and is back now playing a little bit here and there. I don't know if he's going to go full-time PEG, but nice, nice to see them both back. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's me. Look at that. So uh, even though these guys hit their shots, they, they overcooked them a little bit. Uh, that's the fun thing is that McCook, you know, is, was a top player for many years. Uh, and he stepped away, you know, stopped playing Golden Tee for a little bit. And over the last couple of years, has slowly but surely, yeah. you know, reimmersed himself in this world. And a bad a bad chip there on hole one. So, so mouth is up one stroke. But here's the thing. Jamaica Bay, there's a lot of water. It's a hell of a beautiful course. But there's a lot of opportunity to uh, 
to lose a stroke, especially in match play. You gotta, you gotta t t slow your roll. And, and Mouth knows this. Mouth's talking about this. Mouth is a fast place paced player. Uh, yeah, the thing with McCook though is once he switched to uh, Stouts, um, he's he's a stout player. This game all of a sudden stepped up. So I, this, I love this match right here because they're both a little bit of hot heads. They're also very very good gold tee players. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting coming in the back nine. Look forward to it. I, what's the, what are we thinking here? At least three or four hole outs between the two of these guys? Uh, I, I'll give you the over under. I'm thinking two. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to definitely go over. Okay. These guys are, uh, you know, we are in the middle of gold bracket match play. Uh, this, you, you yeah. talk about this solid field of 133 players. She put the these guys are going to bring their A game. We should, look look. At a, we should actually look at the bracket. Have you yeah. pulled up the bracket? Yeah, so I'm taking a look at the bracket. So it looks like right now, David Duncan. Brian Bernhardt and Paul Taylor are undefeated still. David Duncan, Paul Taylor. And Brian Bernhardt. So David Duncan takes on Brian Bernhardt later on this afternoon. Uh, then Paul Taylor, who just won, takes on the winner of this match. So there is huge implications on uh, on the line here. Absolutely. I just want to see if no, there's a no volume. Yeah, oh, I learned that very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so for somebody like Ryan McCook, who, who does not play as much anymore, you know, has played a lot of Golden Tee, obviously, over the last few months uh, as he as he makes more tournament stops. Uh, but these courses are two weeks old, so these courses are brand new. Uh, these guys try to do as much prep as possible coming into this weekend. But the fact that Ryan McCook is one of, you know, right now five people that are undefeated is, yeah. is so interesting. It's so fun. And it... it I don't know. I love this game. I love these these players in this community. So to see people come back, you know, into the community after you know stepping away for months or years, and and to really this is an interesting setup here, uh, Kev. That's cut you no, off. No, absolutely. Where, where, what do you do here? You just take a high tee over. I mean, look at Mount. Yeah. Mount just took a uh, ten and a half over. That's going to be your your best bet. Is just just, just smash a ten and a half over top. Yeah. I think M McCook loves to cut the ball. He is a big time cutter. I've, I've watched him cut so much. He loves that. This, Jamaica Bay, honestly, all these courses, they're, they're, they, this one is probably the least open of them. You know, we got some big greens and, and whatnot, yeah. but uh, you have to be careful here. Like, this is a, these, these early holes really aren't going to make too much of a difference unless it's the instance of, you know, a missed chip. That's why Miles yeah. in the lead right now. But the other thing is I know, I'm going to check uh, McCook's equipment here in a second, but I know Mal is using the brand new Titan golf balls. Uh, and, you know, if you want to take a look at these golf balls, you can go to goldentee.com uh, and log in or create a goal, uh, you know, an online account. Or, you know, get the GT Caddy mobile app yep. for your phone. Uh, it, you're going to see a lot of these guys using it all weekend long to change their equipment, check their stats and, and their standings and all Ryan, that. Ryan plays with stouts. He's a stout guy. He's a stout guy. He's been a stout guy. When he, once he switched to stouts, his game completely changed. Got to be careful here. Got to be careful here. And that's the thing. This is so early in this match. He, he's down a stroke, but he knows when Mouth is on fire that Mouth is is one of those guys that, you know, he he might be unstoppable here. Yeah. Are there any uh, holes in the front nine where we have to see any sort of change, or you feel like once we get to the back nine? I think the back nine, it really these courses like the back nine has been uh, the real uh -oh. driving force. Uh -oh. oh, so you can go down there in the valley. What's down there? Uh, actually, we've seen that a little bit. It, it, again, this is a perfect example of what the creativity that Jim Zelinsky still has uh, in, in with the, the, the team because you could go there where McCook went. You could go farther right and have uh, you know a longer you know a driver coming to play a bit more or do what Mouth did. Okay. Okay, it's coming in nice. Oof. Good God. Now and now that That's was planned. He want, he wanted. Uh, he wanted to hit that fairway to take a bit off the ball. This is an interesting situation here. Yeah, I don't think this is exactly where Mouth wanted to be. His It'll be short. Uh oh. Now it's okay because he only has a G wedge. Oh. Oh wow. That was close. Oh, and McCook almost missed that putt. So these guys are going to be All tied right. up. Going to make the turn. 
Oh, no, we're only on hole seven. I'm excited. This is crazy. No, it's all right. So hey, this is the uh, design hole. Design hole. Yeah, we were, we yeah, were this is talking over top of each other because we were so excited about it. I, so we are. This is a beautiful design. It's always fun to see the, the, the contest submissions Great and then shot. how Jim Zielinski puts his, his spin on them. And so far, a lot that we've seen, uh, the tee boxes have been behind the trees where you got to go around. I'm super excited about the second half of this hole. You know, I'm, right now we're seeing the first looks of it, you know, coming out. You know, guys dropped September 24th. You know, truly dropped gold tee. You know, the new version. Yeah. yeah I mean, but it's, it, it's going to be exciting how this hole sets up in the coming months. Oh, absolutely. Again, we're just scratching the surface in, oh, what, in what we're doing here. All right, Kevin, what do we got here? Par three? Yeah, now this is an interesting, it's a nice eight wood shot, but where the pin's at on the green, you don't have a lot of room to play with. So these guys are most likely, you see McCook doing now, he's going to use bite. He just wants to hit the green, stay there, and have a short putt. If you, right. you can't get cute, you can't go after it with backspin. Otherwise, that's a, a huge drop into the sand. Oh, your boy's going backspin. Yeah. But, but but he also is using the seven wood, so he knew that he had a bit more distance. Right. Okay. With a possible birdie. All right. Here we go. As they say, let's go. We're getting ready to uh, head to the back. Now, I, I think it's so fun that we start the turn on Jamaica Bay on a par five. It's a, it's a nice opportunity. It's a, this is a, one of those big greens. Slight elevation change. Uh, but the pins in the back with this 11 mile hour when these guys are going to be able to go right at it. Uh -huh. And this is might, might be where you see uh, a potential hole out. Potentially. I've also driven it down the fairway. I see a lot of people coming up short, too. They've got a lot of creativity for this hole. This could be a great match, Kevin. I can't wait to see what happens over the next eight holes. You know, this might be... Uh, I would not be shocked if this went into sudden death. I say as mouth almost right. drains it. <laughs> well, we're even, so that's what's nice, is that everything is back to square. All so right, cook, this, is, you know, this is an interesting hole here. Yes. What do you do here? These guys are going to high tee probably a five wood, and they're just going to go around to the right. That you want to stay as far away from those those trees as possible. Uh, it's a good shot, shot by Ryan. I, wow. Part of it's probably the camera angle too, but it also it feels like yeah. these guys are getting so close to the tree. It makes me it, nervous it, for them. I mean, he but he didn't really move it out or anything. He just sort of just left it where it was and just cut it. I, That's not, amazing. Oh. No, I know mouth. So mouth is all about the Titan golf ball. I know Adam is too. I'm I'm more of the dark guy because I like the precision hit and yeah. like that slow trickle. But there's so many different golf ball types. I mean, throughout this this afternoon and this weekend, you're gonna see all different kinds of a combination. I used to be a grabber guy, and then I switched to streaks about six months ago. Interesting. I love, and I I switched up my clubs. So I have spinny clubs in the bag, and I love it. And I'm, I, I, uh, I played with, uh, let me just say real quickly, I played with Stenmark yesterday, mm -hmm. and on the fourth course, uh, what's, uh, Jamaica, he broke out Titans. He was playing Titans, and he was like, wow, these things cut way too, cut more than the streaks. But he's a big fan of the Titan ball, so just so you know. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, that's good to know. It, for Mouth to say it's like one of the best golf balls we've ever designed is a lot, because these guys are playing so much. Yeah. And, and that's fun. Like, I know with with last year's golf balls and this year's golf balls, uh, Jim Zielinski, there's some there's some different knobs that we can turn on the back end when it comes to the physics and what these golf balls do. So, uh -huh. again, innovating. We try to constantly innovate. Here is one of those swing holes we were talking about. Hole 13, drivable par 4. This is not an ideal setup. 11 mile hour wind blowing to the right. Yeah, this and is And they're tough. offset. Wow. Now, oh, he's got to be. He is. Ooh. That was close. That is crazy. Okay. But I'm interested to see what Mouth does here. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Now, he got lucky with that. <laughs> <laughs> with, with that, with that, uh, with that hop he got. Thankfully, those guys had bite because earlier yeah. we saw a few players had backspin. They hit that fringe and went right in the water. Oh. McCook and he just, you saw it in it, look in his face. He know he knew at the moment he hit it. So, so mouth makes his putt. So he's going to reclaim the lead. 
and and there, I don't know if there's any more um, excuse me there, uh, differentiated holes coming down. Maybe maybe six, 18. 18. Uh, I I really hope they get a a top tier pin on hole 18. But now mouth is in the lead. Now now mouth has that lead. And mouth he got it back. And he likes to be uh, on the box first. Yes, he, he loves that. When I say he's dangerous, he really is. Mouth, uh, you know, these guys are undefeated right now. Yeah. Okay, and when, when you are at a Golden Tee tournament, no matter how big or small, and you have that undefeated, you, you know, you, you're aiming for king of the hill because it's all, this is a double elimination Absolutely. bracket. So, you know, so when these guys, when these guys play and, and they go undefeated, you know, it's such an this advantage. This is an interesting look here. I saw this look yesterday. This is an eight wood cut back. So, so all these guys, these guys are guaranteed to be in the in the top four if they if they win the, win this match here. So, this is a a long a long shot there. I don't Ooh, know. I don't know. That's gonna be interesting. I'm surprised that Mouth went high T on that. Yeah, I think you can take an eight wood medium over top, right? I, you're cutting it close, but yes, I think you're gonna watch McCook do that here. I don't know if Mouth even meant to, to do the high tee. And he's got to be careful. Mouth can. Mouth has the lead. He should just play this safe. He is. That's beautiful. That's exactly what he's doing. He's playing it safe. He's We're going to go back to even. Yeah. Uh, Mouth knows that All right. there's a drop off. Look at that water. If he tries going for that chip and he does yeah. not drop it in, then, he, then he's in the water. So we're all squared. He puts, but he pushes. I feel like he puts a little bit of pressure back on McCook now because he does. McCook's like, okay, I've gotten, you know, back to even twice now. Yeah, another hole here where this uh, this is gonna be an, ooh, it's gonna be interesting. This hole is difficult. This is probably one of the hardest par fives in my opinion in Golden T twenty twenty. Okay, why? This uh, specifically, you got a down ten green, winds a little bit in your face, and the pin is up in that corner. These guys are going to make it look easy, uh -oh. of course. Oh. Wow. I mean, what of course, these guys make it look easy, but, you know, what for the average shot. player, you're going to, you or I would probably be a little less aggressive than these guys, and they'd be, I would much Cook? rather have a long putt. Wow, but Cook tried to cut that in there, and he uh, gave up short. Now, and I think that's one of those things where McCook has not played as much in the last couple of years, and yeah. I think that's one of those things. Oh, and he almost, almost, almost it drops up. it. That's that's right, though. We got, we got two more holes. 18, 18 sets up, can set up many different ways. Yeah, so, you know, you saw there these guys cleaning up each other's putts. Uh, you know, there's there's considered a gimme putt. So if you're usually within inside the 10 leather. to 15. We call that yeah. inside the leathers. You know, 10 to 15 foot, uh, these guys, uh, it's, it's a show of respect. It they is. know these guys are going to make the putt. It also helps, you know, speed things up. Absolutely. So they know, okay, there's, he's not going to miss this putt. Let's clean it up. Let's get to the, the, the difficult shots. Although if you miss your putt, then that's not a good thing. Right. But that's why these guys would not do it if, if they yeah. were worried about that. Like, now, you wouldn't clean up this one, would you? No. No. Left 10, I'm going to let, I'm gonna let yeah. you handle that, <laughs> Mr. Mel. All right, right, so here we go. this is will be 18's it. Bar four, over trees. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. It's no, bottom. this is this is actually Mouth and I had talked about this in a previous conversation. Uh oh. oh. Uh oh. That's not an easy chip. No, you see a look in his face. Like I, I we we had just talked about that. I, I'm surprised he he, he got a little uh -oh. bit more on that than he expected. Now McCook is gonna. Okay, I thought he was gonna play a medium tee. So when you high tee the ball. Oh, so when you high tee, oh. the there golf go. ball is going to lose this is the spin. Big chip right here. Now I would much rather hit, have his chip, yeah, because it's up eight, right six, but okay. you can go right there at it. Here we go. Is this going to overtime or not? Now uh. he's got to be careful. Oh, now uh -oh, again, please. mouth mouth please. chip with the G wedge. Nice mouth uh. chip with the G wedge because he is overtime. Worry, you know, he was worried about putting himself in a position to lose yep. uh, the game. So these guys are tied. Going to OT, which I we, is always fun to see because this is the on Jamaica Bay. So the way overtime works, sudden death as we call it, these guys are going to play the same course. They're going to have different conditions. They have to use the same equipment. So these guys are using the same equipment, same course, yep. different looks. So we just you know talked about the the front nine here. It's a pretty straightforward front nine. So 
I think it's going to end up uh, end out on a hole out. What do you think in terms of ranking uh, Jamaica Bay against the other courses in terms of toughness? <sighs> Only because there's so much water. I would put it, you know, maybe number two. What's number one? What's the toughest course this year? I would say Oakwood. Oak Hill? Oakwood Hills. Yes. Oakwood Hills. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, only because so Lake Powell actually more people than I expected have come up to yeah, me and said, I've "Hey, this thing. is this is diffi a yeah. difficult course." Yeah. But but Jamaica Bay, uh, these guys just have to avoid the water. They got to be careful when they tr with getting aggressive. Yeah. And uh, uh, we're back to the action, Kevin. Now hole one is drivable, so this McCook needs to make sure he does not make the same mistake he did earlier. And uh, he went right. Wow. Now it's This could be it. This could be it. Now he went right he went but left. But he in. has roll, he's gonna get it on the green. Here we go. Nope. Oh, and he pushed it left. Ooh, this this is huge. This is huge. You see, Ryan is taking his time. He's trying to think about it. Oh, oh. he pushed it left as well. You see the wow. look on Mouth's face. I mean, Mouth thought for sure he lost because of his missed putt. Uh, they both drove. They both had chip. Uh, Mouth drove first green, missed his putt. Ryan had a chip in. It's gonna come down. I think Mount is gonna hold out. I, I you're gonna see feeling, a you're gonna it. see a hold out from one of these guys. I don't know if we're gonna see one of those crazy hold outs from the Andy uh, Andy Haas uh, Paul Taylor match on um, oh, Beals in, Creek in Houston. Yeah, how crazy was that hold out? That was nuts. So pretty straightforward yeah. par four here. Yeah. Nothing nothing too fancy. I think you're going to most likely see a, probably the par three, uh, par three ace, a hole in one to really make a, a difference. Although this is not, for hole three, this is not like a, a simple setup that you typically expect to see. Not too bad though. These guys are professionals. They know, I mean, this is all about distance and making sure they cut the ball. Look at that. Oh, so good. I mean, the, the major major implications in this, you're not, I mean, nobody is going to be out. Neither of these guys are going to get eliminated from the tournament. But, you know, having the power of being undefeated right now, it's Brian Bernhardt, David Duncan, and Paul Taylor that are still undefeated. Right. So the winner of this match will go on to face Paul Taylor here in a little bit. So who does Denmark lose to? Um, I'd have to take a look at the bracket. Josh Whisper, Todd Boyer. Josh Whisper, Todd Boyer on four. So, All right, we're at par, fi uh, par oh, five. Oh, Stenmark, that's right. Stenmark lost to Paul Taylor in the first match. Oh, wow. This is a really, really good setup for these guys. Oh, Ryan. Ooh, yes. He, I was not a fan of him going at that without any kind of spin. Or any uh, sort of action on it. Yeah, he definitely should have had bite on that. If he had bite on that, he might have actually been in. You know, mouth right. knows that's a flat, a flat fringe, so he's not going to worry about, uh, you know, McCook putting it in. All right, so where are we going to, Kev? This is, uh, this is good. We're we're heading over to hole five. And it's that par four we, we talked a little bit earlier. That's we did. a thin, uh, a thin strip of fringe, or excuse me, a fairway. <laughs> a print, a thin strip of thin. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a fringe. But these guys are getting yeah. some really solid looks. Yeah, you know, uh, they haven't been. It hasn't been too crazy, actually. I, I, I actually think that this is going to come down to shot making and a whole lot. Now, in interesting, the end. different approach. So mouth is going to have an iron shot, and uh, and McCook is going to be a bit farther back using a I wood. Think McCook's going to thumb it and check it up. Didn't go with the thumb, but oh, oh wow, so, so close. This is this is, has potential. Nope. So w the thing about the Titans that Mouth talked uh, yeah. about is that it gets a nice little hop. It's got you know so it gets a bit it more. It pops air. up and then backs up. 
Yeah, this this has a, a tendency. We may go 36, you know, yes. 54 uh, holes. Yeah, these crazy. guys, I mean, these, these are two of the, the best players that have been around a long time. Uh, clearly, McCook can still hang and he's uh, focused. with the guys. And he's focused. Exactly. Love it. Uh-oh. He's thumbing it. Oh, these guys are so precision. I love it. I don't have I, I don't have thumbs, so. How do you I, play Golden Tee without thumbs? Well, oh, I look mean, at that. No, I'm just giving you a hard time. Well, so two, you're not a thumber. I meant because you said you had no thumbs. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have no big toes, and I still can walk around. <laughs> you're funny. I'm going to come to Illinois and come visit you guys. Oh, yeah. No, it'll be fun. This, uh. Right. This par five, this is a tucked pin in the back corner. Yeah. This will be interesting. Okay. He's Two he's different approaches uh, last time on this Nathan's hole. I think Nathan's going to go left again. Yeah. He's going to smash it out there. Oh, absolutely. He's going to think about it because no. he, he was not in an ideal position. Yeah. Okay. It gets to a point, especially with uh, how big this. Uh, so this is. So. How do you play the uh, – so is this a cut back or are you going to play the win? Can you take a six wood over top or five wood? No. No. Okay. Now, if he would have caught the fringe there, he, he hit the green. Uh, so he's going to have a little bit of a longer putt. Not a big deal, though. Okay. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Here we go. Boom. Yeah, mouth, mouth in a putt like that. He, he – Loves the putt like that. He so doesn't quick. think about those because he knows the more you think about those putts, the the more yeah. you're going to get in your own head. It's great. All right, here we go. This is the designer hole again, now number I, eight. This look is fun because you've got a wind blowing towards the green, towards the pin. Yeah. And these guys are just going to take. Yeah, the three woods a smart option. Just go right over. It's going to be. Oh. oh. Wow. It's tough. Okay. Here we go. Kevin. Now, now it's going to play a nice slight cut. Beautiful. Great shot. Okay. These guys are so good. Oh, yeah. The were, you, were you thinking uh, I was going to miss it? No, I was laughing at the, the sound of the putter, to be honest. <laughs> um, All right. So, so you guys. Nine. Clean after eight holes. This is a fun par three look. This shouldn't be bad though with the stouts. I mean, it plays like what six win. Yeah, that it's going to basically cut the the win in half. <laughs> nice shot. Mouth up plays. Oh, look at that. Boom, mouth with the ace for the win. Oh, man. I, oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He was texting. I was texting. We missed it. We're also not on camera, so I'm not going to yeah. jump. But, All but right. so mouth with the ace. And that's, you know, I, I have to say it. I called him, my friend. I thought it was going to come down to a par three. Didn't think it was going to be a whole nine par three, but it was a clean shot uh, okay. for mouth. Yeah, McCook is still playing well. I still think that he has a chance to come back through the loser's bracket. Oh, absolutely. We've and got Mark's been playing well today. So. so now Mark, the mouth, will take on Paul Taylor later on today. There you go. There's the bracket right there. Top eight. Yeah, so so Duncan and Brian, Duncan and Brian uh, both won their games. So did Mouth and Paul Taylor. So Adam, uh, David Duncan will take on Brian Bernhardt. Paul Taylor uh, will take on the Mouth. Two, yeah. I mean, actually, both of those games have That's gonna be great. different playing styles for all four of those competitors. So that'll be fun to see. Yeah, and I think we should find either bring in Adam. Uh, eight, we're bringing Westergren, Wes. I'm thinking Adam. Yeah, so uh, yeah. We'll, we'll take a, a few minute break here. Okay. We'll, we'll change up a little bit. There you and go. Uh, we'll be back more uh, Golden Tee live action here at the NIV 17. Kevin, it's been a pleasure working with you today. Always You know, I love it. being on the stream. It's, it's, it's heaven. 
Oh, yeah. Him. You'll be back. But let me just say, last NIV, tonight's going to be very emotional for everybody. It is. It is. And I, I just look forward to crowning the last NIV winner, celebrating, and the things you guys are doing are fantastic. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I really you. appreciate being with you. So I appreciate you. it, man. Thank, thank you. you. We'll, we'll have you on back later. So, Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Mark Tate. We'll be back. We'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah